Monday morning. About 7 a.m. right now. Um, it's been raining all night. And the closer we get to Dallas, I got some heavy thunderstorms going on this morning, but it's gonna stop. It's gonna stop around 12. But for now, we gotta drive through it uh, to get to my appointment. My reset just ended at 7.01. So now we're gonna continue on to deliver this heavy load to Wahachi, Texas, right outside of Dallas. 35 East. Um, should get there around 9.45 when the traffic slow down a little bit. Right now, it's heavy traffic over there right now. 7 in the morning. But I should get there around 9.45 to deliver something. We are about to get started. I continue on with another week. Better ease on up now. Turn left on Barber Road, then take the first right. Monday morning. Truck still parked for me <laughs> Monday morning. They should be getting ready to go. Turn right on Barber Road, then take the first left. Yeah, so this Love's over here. Exit 575. And they got eight eight showers here. Um, subway and um, it was a nice camera. Subway and Godfather's Pizza, and it got the deli section with the wraps and the uh, fruits and everything, salads. It's pretty good. Thirty-four there. If I'm a thirty-four out of love, got to be a you know a good one. They got some reserve. That's nothing new there. Zoom back in on that. They're like picnic tables right there. Turn left on Barber Road, then take the first right. Like over there to the right. We got a water station with picnic tables. Must be for RV. Oh, they're for RV section. I see it right there. Okay, yeah. Turn left on Barber Road, then take the first right. Turn right on I-20 West. All right, I-20. I-20 on into Dallas.
exit about two miles from the destination. Man, the traffic this morning. I still got here uh, 15 minutes before, but I had to fight through some traffic in Dallas, Texas. Came across about three accidents. Uh, about three accidents this morning. It was hard to see the road today. I concentrate the most when I'm in like major cities early in the morning. I don't like driving on old hours like that when everybody, you never know what, what the car gonna do, especially in that middle lane. They shoot across that, that blind spot. The other one over here right close on the phone. You just never know what, what's gonna happen. Um, and areas like, you know, major city like downtown Dallas. We got a rip. Okay. I think me and this guy here going to the same spot. Turn right at the stop sign. Say turn right. I don't think I need to take it to a wide spot, but there ain't nobody coming. I would do it if somebody coming, but he ain't coming yet. Man, that truck right there might be going to the same spot. Say 14 now, but the show look low. <laughs> All right, that red light. That truck up there. I think we're going to the same place. Drive in. I don't know if it's there over here. Is it this one? They're like the same place. Ah, it gotta be here. Turn right. I can't see the address. Yeah, this is right here, 3711. Yes. I knew we were going to the same spot. <laughs> Got it. I almost was, I was gonna turn over there, but I think I followed this truck over here. Time to check in. All right, so there's two docks over there. I'm um, next after the first Volvo come out. It's tight over there too. I'm gonna swing wide over here. So after the Volvo finish, I back on in and uh, do the same thing what he doing over there. Where you going? I got a sand sacks of sand um but just like that so i make some room over here we had a sand warehouse the warehouse team right there he pulling out i'm gonna pull in now Where are you going? is this way. Right. Truck gonna be dirty leaving out of here. I gotta concentrate cause this, this whole mirror right there where I gotta pull on around that. I'm gonna dip on in and zip out. Yeah. 
take what hit that wall a little bit because I don't want I can't see his mirror at all on this side. Try to get closer to that wall as close as possible. Oh, I'm far from him. I see how his mirror was sticking out. I was like, no, I want to get close to that. Another time. See his mirror. I, I can see the tire where his tire at though, but okay, we're good. It's always like to slap my tandems because maybe rocking in that truck so much without that support back there. Yeah, loader I got. Oh man. Yeah, I don't need to check back there. I'm gonna take my paperwork down. See what they say. This driver that's leaving out. <laughs> He can't get his tandems to slide. Um, he loaded the trailer. When they loaded it, he had his tandems all the way up, like forward. But he can't get him to slide back to adjust the weight. I'm gonna go over there and help him if he can't figure out the next five minutes. He can keep it over like 20 minutes. Bro. They don't figure out by the time I come out. I got to go over there. I don't think he got it now, but he's he moving up. He can't get no tandem to slide up. <laughs> See how we looking in here? Oh, this man blowing out for real. Man, that's all this. Pallets in the garbage. I ain't want to slide out here. Right where the guy can pull out at, so I get the dirt out now. I'll go two times. I'm 
gonna go help this guy. I don't wanna get on the ground though, man, but his brakes need to be adjusted in the back. I just talked about this last night. On to the next one. We picking up our next load down the street in uh, Ennis, Texas. In Ennis, Texas, we're going to pick up a load going to Kansas City. We'll be there in a minute. We'll go help this guy. All right, he got it now. So I had to show him how to do it. But he don't got no, he don't got the tools for it. <laughs> but we going on the Ennis, Texas now to pick up the guy over there. He ain't, he ain't have a load yet. He over there waiting in the corner. So we going to Ennis, Texas. 23 miles away. Load going to Kansas City. We'll be there in a few. On this street, straight ahead on the left. We'll be there in a minute. So we're gonna be up here on the left. So they got a uh, eight to two o'clock open window. Right now it's eleven o'clock. Of a mile, arrive at 2705 North Coughlin Street on the left. Right now it's 11 o'clock, so um, should be good. Half a mile. Um, we are in Ennis, Texas. Ennis, Texas. <laughs> Quarters coming out on the left. One quarter mile. That's out there. The left. show right here. Oh, dang, I missed this right. Dang, I thought I'm gonna be going around the corner, go this way. <laughs> Y'all saw it. <laughs> I gotta loop it around. I was like, can't be going in there. Yeah, it's going in there, buddy. Uh, maybe I am coming the right way. Nah. Uh, I thought it would be like over here because that, that place is like a little small building kind of place. So I'm about to turn it around. 
I'm gonna go straight this way. I'm gonna turn right here. I know I ain't gotta go that way. My place all over there. They say Tenteed. Oh, Tenteed. Turn, turn ten, turn ten T. Now we go that way. This right here was blocking the rest of what that thing said over there. Let's flat that over there. All right. Nah, it's a different gate. Man, we got a loop around. All right, back on track. Uh, like who would think to turn into a building like this? They don't say nothing about shipping and receiving until you look deep down in there. You think you gotta go around the building. <laughs> they should have saw a sign, yes, trucks this way. So I'm probably gonna back into the dock straight ahead, let me. No trucks allowed before 6 a.m. Right. May you look more down on the on the on oh, the big sign right there say back of building shipping and receiving. I start walking close to like man what? They don't like we go no further. So we got a loop on around the building. See right there? Back of building. Oh, look at this hole here. Let me go on by you, Pierre, bro. I'm already out here. Man. How we supposed to come up around like this, dog? Now, why you couldn't just be in the front of the building? They gotta ease on by this. This big old thing, he all parked. Sideways. Oh. I mean, you need a hook from that thing and move out the way. Oh, God, I ain't get no truck wash because, boy, I've been mad. Places I've just been through. Through floods, mud, sand pits, everything. All right. All right, we're going to the middle door. We're going to open the doors up and swing it on to the middle right there. I that container back out. We're gonna have to loop it this way. And then back in where that stop sign at. Let's do it. Come out yet? They need to come out so I can pull in.
that was not easy. That wasn't easy right there. You got this uh, railroad track on the side over here and then the truck parking next to me. I don't need to, I don't need to check it. My red light already on, so. That train track right there, it was not easy. He got an even harder spot. I should've let him go first, but I know he got to go to this though. He should've put him right here. But we good on both sides, so. That wasn't easy there, but. This low pay, uh, hold on, let me see. I think 1150, going 638 miles. It's paying 190. Thought at least paying two something, I'll pay 190. 190 a mile going 638 miles. Put the stop sign over here. Yeah, he had a little harder spot than me. We're gonna get loaded now and um, head on to Phillipsburg. Kansas City, Phillipsburg, Kansas City, 638. Now we looking, it's about 10 minutes. It's about 10 minutes to unload, I mean, load up. We are 22,000 pounds. See nothing. They don't require any uh or the pallets or anything. Let me try this. Stick this on right here. Oh, this might fall out. This might I'll oh, just take it on that side. Yeah. Pay like a dollar ninety something a mile. Paying 1100 going Kansas City, but Kansas City is a good area to get loaded out of. Should have come across the 2000 plus up, up that way, Kansas City area, the Midwest. Slide these tanners back and head on out. I don't need to scale it because 22,000. 22,000 pounds, so. I'll probably do 450 miles today and finish it up tomorrow and deliver tomorrow around nine o'clock in the morning. By 9 a.m. tomorrow. call when they see I'm moving. And they're gonna ask, hey, hey, are you finished? Yeah, I'm finished, you see I'm moving, so why you call to see if I'm moving anyway? So I don't answer the, I don't answer the phone when they do that stupid stuff like that, bro. They call to see if you're done. They see you done. They see you moving, they see you leaving. Hey, uh, good morning, are you finished? Obviously I'm finished. They do that, picking up, leaving up, leaving out, going in, Leaving that when you get there, they do that every all day. That's so stupid to me, dog. You see them leaving. You see them picking up. So why are you calling to see if I'm picking up? I'm the first in there. I hate me to do that stuff, dog. Bro, 
You need to put your blinker or something. <laughs> Alright, let's go on here to uh, Kansas City.
30 minute break. Wipe these windows down. I'm not getting fuel here, just traffic. Traffic in Oklahoma right now, bro. Like, I don't even understand. Uh, they just working on the on the roads and stuff, but it been consistently like construction, construction, traffic, traffic. So I'm gonna just cool on down and take a 30 minute break. And head back on now after my 30. We'll be getting off tonight about uh, 8 o'clock. Press the room 56. Door shower is ready. Please proceed to shower one. And I should be like 170 miles from there. For my delivery in the morning. About 170. So I'll be there tomorrow about 9 o'clock. About 8, 9 o'clock. get a refill out of here and a refresher there some water ice cold well y'all see that over there it's a speed coat truck wash that's loves that's a new truck wash that loves trying to put together <laughs> They got the, the announcement going on right now for the new truck. Well, they just built that there. They just built that. And there's actual love employees, like shop looking guys that's coming out of there. Now I ain't see a truck come out there clean yet. <laughs> I ain't see a truck come out clean so far. Like, you know, like that blue beaky shiny clean. I ain't see a truck come out clean yet. Well, that's how you cutting it kind of close, boy. Um, but 
They is trying something. <laughs> they is trying to get it together uh, with these truck washes. They trying to put them in all the places where Speedco at. They say Speedco truck wash, but loves on Speedco. So they on the move right now. So we about to go out here and go back into this uh, this traffic. My GPS trying to show me a way around it. So um, let's see what they, it's saying turn the right before we get down there and that road can take us all the way out. Come on Forrest, they've been trying to back up for the last 10 minutes. Let's keep the truck straight, stop wiggling it. See that, those guys right there working in the, in the uh, truck wash. Speed cold truck wash. I ain't see a truck come out there kind of shiny yet though, but um, they trying to get it together. <laughs> so they got the the, tr the truck wash with with the speed co with the repair shop. So that's kind of neat. We gotta turn right before this uh, traffic up. I don't like the way. I, uh, looking up there. I mean, stop traffic like. We gotta go on the on the highway because they say no through trucks turn that way, and it's, it's a whole lot of traffic out there. Golly, bro! They say no through trucks, dog. Oh, those turn down that road and go right on down. But they say we can't turn down now. We're gonna be in this traffic by at least about 20 minutes. And it ain't that long. It's just like at least like two miles. So. I was gonna turn down that road and go. <laughs> they said, my, my GPS said I, I could turn down now, but they say no through trucks. I'm sure the construction company put that sign up there. Cause my GPS said, yeah, you, you can turn down that way. 